How you doing? My name is Dr. Joe Ferrantelli, CEO of PostureCo, and I got something new and exciting for you. This is the iPad 2. What's nice about the iPad 2 and Posture Screen is it has a built-in camera. So this is truly the ultimate in posture screenings. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a tour of some of the features, and there's some really good features with this new um, updated app. So why don't you go ahead and come on a little closer here. So what we're going to do first is let's go ahead and start Posture Screen. I want to give you a little bit of a tour. We're actually going to do a screening here first. Again, just to review, one of the reasons why this app is um, only 10 cents to use for evaluation is simply because we actually have advertisers that will uh, subsidize the cost of the app. So what we're going to do here is review some of the new features. We have a Facebook icon, so this is very valuable. If we're going to go ahead and do a screening, we could say post to our Facebook account, and we can type on our wall, since we already hooked this up, you know, at health food, food, I can't even type today, hold on, health food store doing free posture screening. And then I'm going to hit done and hit publish. And that's going to go ahead and publish right to my Facebook wall. Same thing goes with Twitter. We can go ahead and send a message to Twitter so that way you can have your followers find you when you're doing a spinal screening. We can email, same thing out, as well as um, if you want to learn more uh, about Chiropractic Biophysics and Chiropractic United, you would go ahead and hit this icon and it's going to pull up iTunes to where you can go ahead and find out the latest on CBP Technique and Chiro United. Okay, getting back to the app. So now something that's new is if you go into the upgrades feature, you're going to see that there are many upgrades now available. We have a new demographic uh, patient export. I'm going to explain that. We have some new animations, a spine animation, which is free, flexion extension, posture decay over time, subluxation degeneration, a thoracic posture list, thoracic posture list with the person, and a whiplash trauma animation. Now, many of you will recognize these from the CPP patient class, and I made these a long time ago, and they've been a huge success in, in promoting a person's practice through educational uh, purposes in a PowerPoint. So we added them here. They're all 99 cents except for this one, which is $1.99. And this is a $1.99 add-on as well. And of course, at the top, you have you buy the credits if you choose to use the credits and calculate the results. Now, those are the new features of version 1.3. Let me show you how this works. First of all, if you have the, the I'm going to go through a screening with you. Let's do, these are the people that have already screened. Let's start somebody new. We're going to go ahead and put, she's a female, Cheryl Smith, and she is 5 foot 2 inches, and she weighs 122. And her email, let's go ahead and put my email just because I don't want to bother my sister-in-law. I made her stand crooked for this picture that I'm going to show. And we would capture their phone number, so this is really important at a spinal screening. What's their VAS, their, or I should say their VRS, or a verbal rating score for their pain or complaints? Now, what's nice about the new iPad is that I can go ahead and if the patient was in front of me, I could get a heads-up display and use this to center the patient, okay? Since I'm not showing that, that portion of it, I have it already on my camera roll. So I already have a posture here. So let's go ahead and select that posture. Made my sister-in-law stand crooked here. Save. Now when you're doing this, you want to make sure that the top of the head gets to the top of the line there, the yellow line, and the bottom of the feet get to the bottom of the line as well too. Okay, that's part of the calibration process. That is a must. That's one of the biggest errors that people have is you must center the picture and get the head, top of the head and bottom of the feet. Now, what's nice about this is that I've already superimposed the grids and I do what the, the little computer guy tells me to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click a couple features here of anatomy and then just walk through. And if you make a mistake, no worries. We can go ahead and go back. As you can see on an iPad, 
that's as quick as it is. The fastest way of doing a spinal assessment is in a palm of your hand. If you have an iPod Touch, an iPhone, or the new iPad. If you don't want to use a credit, what we would do is hit no, but obviously you only get a one-time viewing of that. You can blow it up, but here's the best part. If we calculate the results, it's going to use the credits that we purchased through iTunes. We're going to use a credit, and there are all the postural displacements. And this is a very important one right here. If you look, your head weighs approximately 9.5 pounds, shifted 2.3 inches forward. Based on physics, her head effectively weighs 31.8 pounds. And you can relate that to the posture. We have her, her AP, side view, and then now here's the key. New to this version 1.3 is if you have an air print device, uh, Hewlett Packard sells printers that are wireless that you can print directly to the device. So that assessment will print right to a wireless printer that's made to talk to iOS devices. Um, here's the other key. Let's go ahead and email it. New to this feature is it's automatically going to blind carbon copy of the doctor's account. So a way of practice building is by giving the iPod Touch to your staff members. Say, hey, here you go, Autumn. Here you go. You can go out to the public, and anybody that comes in based on your screening you're going to get a bonus, whatever that bonus may be. For the first time in life, you guys are going to be accountable to the doctor's office. So many times doctors say that they go out in screenings, we get all these names, but you know they're not legitimate screenings, or my staff really didn't screen what they said. Now we'll have a PDF. If they said they went to a screening and screened 50 people, you'll have 50 PDFs to verify that, all of different people. And here's the coolest thing. Let's get a little closer here. After a spinal screening, you were wondering what some of those upgrades were. Well, here they are. Let's go into the history, and that's what we just did. Now, what if we did a spinal screening, and we want to know everybody that we screened, let's say from February, okay? Hit OK, and now let's search. Those are the people that we screened, and here's the key. Now let's email an Excel file to our staff. So now, if I email that out, what comes back is, let me pull this up here, pull up the email, hold on, is you get this email, which is your callback list. It's an Excel file with all their demographic information and phone numbers. So that's a quick and easy way to do a callback with doing these spinal screenings for $1.99 that unlocks that feature so that way you can easily uh, call back those 50 people and you just email that off to your front desk person they can do the callbacks whatever they need to do one thing is a um, one of the best features and it's been a great request if you have a new iPad 2 and this only works on the iPad 2 you finally have the ability to hook it up to a big large screen TV or projector so to demo that let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you so what you have to have is you have to have a special adapter and this little white cord comes from Apple. It's $29 or $39. And I dropped it because I'm playing around with it. And what you do is you're going to plug that into the device. So if you're at a spinal screening, if you want a good way of getting attention to your booth, there's no better way than having a projector. Okay? And what works is we're going to go ahead and pull this up. And... All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn out the light here so the camera can focus. And look at this. If you look up on the screen, what a better way to have a person, but right up through here, we can show the displacements. Okay, red line is her, green line is normal. You can see that the person's not normal, right? So what a better way than getting people to... A booth and this is where the videos come in if we go to the videos let's go ahead and play the thoracic degeneration clip excuse me the cervical degeneration clip I made this video many many years ago for CBP seminars and as you can see it's an animation of the spine deteriorating called the subluxation degeneration clip this is probably one of the most pirated videos in our industry today and I'm very proud of it because I spent weeks and weeks making this video but as you can see right through here, the loads of the cervical spine 
from the skull transmitted through the mid-neck is going to go osteophytic formation. Patients need to understand this because if they're at a screen, they say, well, they have arthritis, but I was born that way. Well, you can use that to educate patients. They say, well, doc, I was involved in a car accident. And what we have here is a whiplash simulation that you can show right from your iPad. And here it's a low-speed rear impact collision, another animation that I made a long time ago for CVP seminars for our whiplash PowerPoint. Now it's in your device, so you can educate patients. So what we can do is we can show a thoracic list animation and shows subluxations of a prolonged posture, as you can see over my shoulder. If we have this projecting on a large screen, it's very beneficial to us. If you don't have a large screen, it's very easy in the palm of your hand. You can have this always in the palm of your hand. You have these animations. So if we're going to show a posture decay, we can turn it sideways. Say, you know, Mrs. Jones, that's where you're supposed to be. Of course, not a man, but over time, your spine can deteriorate over time. And this posture is clearly avoidable with the right care. And you don't want to age this way. And so you can show this anywhere you're at now with Posture Screen Mobile. These animations are free to download and try for the spinal animation and a low cost upgrade. Those are the new features of the new Posture Screen Mobile. Thank you.